Hello Linux friends, here is Joseph and today I want to talk a little bit about Peppermint OS 10. So as you can see, I fired it up in a virtual box and now let's take a look on what is so special about Peppermint OS. Let's open the menu and Office and here you can see Microsoft Excel online, Microsoft PowerPoint online, you see Google Drive, Google Calendar and so on. But these are only, as you can see here, online versions of Microsoft. If we open that, you can see it's Firefox. You have to sign in. There is nothing installed here on the computer, no Microsoft, you have to sign in to Microsoft Online, to uh, Office Online. This is not a browser. As you can see, it's only one browser window of Firefox. How does that work? Well, that's an application called ICE. It's here in the favorites. We open ICE and as you can see, you can manage multiple browser windows. For example, I myself have, an, have a website called Linux Umsteig. It's a German website and I want to show you how to use that in ICE. I want to call it Linux Umsteiger. My homepage is Linux Umsteiger. Oh, that's wrong. Net. That's the address. And now, where should that be in the menu? It should be in Internet. And now we can select an icon for uh, Linux Umsteiger. I use the site Favicon. That means that is the icon I use on the on my own website. So as you can see, this is my icon L L U Linux Umsteiger. Uh, you may ask yourself, what does Linux Umsteiger mean? That only means it is a person who switches from Windows or Mac OS to Linux. Umsteiger means a switch. So I personally switch from a Windows to Linux and my channel is for people who also want to switch from Windows or Mac OS to Linux. And it's German and yeah, I, I try, at least I try to uh, start an English channel on this topic. I hope um, you like it. Okay, back to topic. I can choose um, if I want uh, to start this Linux Umsteiger website with Firefox, Vivaldi, Chromium or Chrome. It's an isolated pro uh, browser profile, if I check this, and now I can apply it. And I've done it before, so um, I can continue. And now you can see Linux Umsteiger in the menu, Internet. And if I start it, you can see my German website here. So it's not interesting for you. I just wanted to show what you can do with ICE. It's not a browser, it's only this single window here. I think it's good for online services. Uh, for example, not only Microsoft Online, for example, Twitter or Facebook or um, Mastodon, for example. 
You can start your Twitter account without opening any browser and it's isolated. So let's take a look what else we can find in Peppermint OS settings. And we have a Peppermint Control Center here. Well, as you can see, it's it's a mix um, of LXDE, XFC and a little bit Linux Mint. We can uh, change the title font, we can uh, change the title alignment, we can change the number of workspaces. Let's do that. Now we have four, as I always do. We can uh, configure the mouse and the keyboard. Here, keyboard shortcuts, desktop effects, for example, transparency. Uh, if I move a window, as you can see, it's a little bit transparent if I move it around. So if I don't want to be this transparent, I can set this to 100. And as you can see, there is no transparency at all. If I want more transparency, I can reduce it. And now, yeah, you see it's very, very transparent. There is customers look and feel. This is LXDE. We have Peppermint 10 Red Dark. If you don't like dark theme, you can choose Peppermint Red or Peppermint Sand. You can see how the color changes. But you also have default LXDE themes like Crux. Clear looks or at waiter. Well, I always prefer aqua, so I choose aqua dark here, and this is LXDE. We can customize new mix folder icons. So at the moment, there is Papyrus activated. This is the selected icon theme. And if we want to customize Numix icon, uh, folder icons, we and want to see what happens, we, we have to change our icon settings. So now I choose Numix. That's this one. And now I can customize the folder icons. I need a password. Oh, that's, that was wrong, sorry. So this is the style now. And we have six styles. So I can, it, uh, I can change it to a very yellow one that would look this way. So we apply. It takes a little while. Please wait while the changes are applied. And now we can open the folder. It's still red and this is because I forgot to apply here. So let's apply and now it is yellow. But that's not all. You can choose your own preferred color if you uh, go in here. You can pick a color or you can pick a color here as you like. Well, I personally don't like the yellow ones, so I choose style one. And I apply it again. We have to close the folder. By the way, that's Nemo. And now we can open it again. Uh, 
and it's brown again. Okay. Let's check tweaks. Now we, we can reset the panel to defaults. If something goes very, very wrong and you don't know how to fix it, you can reset the panel to the default settings. You can, uh, you can turn off system sounds. You can um, configure your notification settings. You can enable or disable NeoFetch. Uh, let's do that. We want to enable it. That means that it starts if you start the terminal. So this is NeoFetch. We see we have the kernel 5.00 and there are 117, uh, 1714 packages here. We have NewMix, as you see, uh, desktop environment LXDE and there is RAM usage of 441 megabyte. If you open the update manager you will see this is the Linux Mint update manager. There is a new update for Mint update. That's the name of the update manager. We can uh, update the Mint update first and then the updates available for Peppermint. Users and groups. You can change your name, your password. You can add users. You can delete users. You can manage groups. So you don't have to go into the terminal for that. We can close that. There's software manager. This is GNOME software. And you can uh, choose what you like and you can install with a single click. But there is also Synaptic pack ma uh, Package Manager for those who like this package manager more than the software manager provided by GNOME. So, what do I think of Peppermint OS 10? I like it very much. It's a mix of LXDE, XFCE, a little bit Linux Mint. There are some own things like the Peppermint Control Center, like the customized Numix folder icons and as far as I can see, it's very fast, it's very stable, it's based on Ubuntu LTS. Um, and I think if you are new to Linux, you could uh, check it and see if it's for you. Good idea is the implementation of ICE for a fast access to online services and so I think it's worth to take a look at. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Please feel free to comment, to um, subscribe to my channel, to support my channel. Uh, I would be very thankful if I see a thumb up I do my best in in my English. I hope it's enough. I I try to get better. Um, I hope I will be able to create my content as good as possible for my English audience. So, the best, yours, Joseph.